Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, our risen and ascended Lord. Today we celebrate Ascension, the festival of Ascension. And I'm reminded today of the incredible truth <laughs> that uh, God does things so differently than human beings. He is so different from us, and he does things so much differently. I mean, we like to, you know, cut things off. This is the start. This is the end. This is how far this reaches. All that stuff. That's how we like to organize things. God does things not at all like that. And the ascension of Jesus Christ is an excellent example of this. See, at face value, when you would just look at the event on the surface, it seems as though this is the end, that Jesus is now leaving the world. This is the end of this holy ministry of the Savior. But that's not how Scripture talks about the ascension. This isn't the end. It's the beginning. For not only is Jesus still with us, for he said right before he ascended, I am with you always to the very end of the age. So this is the end of nothing. It's certainly not the end of him being with us and being present with us and protecting us. But there's even more than that. For the ascension of Jesus Christ was the fulfillment of his own promise to his disciples and to us. That he had another gift to give them. I'm going to read from you from the Gospel of John chapter 16. Jesus is speaking and he says, Now I am going to him who sent me. Yet none of you asks me, where are you going? Because I have said these things, you are filled with grief. But I tell you the truth. It is good for you that I am going away. Unless I go away, the counselor will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. I have much more to say to you, more than you can now bear. But when he, the spirit of truth, comes... He will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears, and he will tell you what is yet to come. He will bring glory to me by taking from what is mine and making it known to you. The reason I'm connecting these verses to Ascension Day is because this is the fulfillment of Jesus' promise. Yes, he's still with us, but also after he ascended, he gave the church the gift of the Holy Spirit, the third person of the Trinity. And I want to just take a few moments today and talk about what is the work of the Holy Spirit? What is Jesus talking about here? That the Holy Spirit will take from his own and give it to us. That the Holy Spirit will guide us in all truth. That he will tell us what is the future. See, sometimes I think we, make the, we get the mistaken impression that the Holy Spirit's work is to just make what we know about Jesus more certain, to add more certainty to our faith in Jesus. That's what the Holy Spirit does. But it's more than that. Always remember this. What we're talking about right now is not earthly things. These are spiritual things. You heard what Jesus said in that first verse. It is good for me to go away, for I will send the counselor to that. Why is that good? Because when you're talking about our Savior, you are dealing with spiritual things. Things we can't see. Things we can't quantify. I can't come up with a math equation proving to you that Jesus is the Savior of the world. That is the work of the Spirit. On the day of ascension, Jesus ascended into all the heavens and took his place at the right hand of God and is present with his church till the end of the age. He gave us the gift of his Holy Spirit, which showed forth on Pentecost. The one who convinces us in our hearts that this man, Jesus of Nazareth, is the Son of God. The one who takes from what is his, from what is Jesus, and gives it to us. The gospel of eternal salvation. The one who is with us and proclaims what is future. That's exactly what the Spirit does for us. Through the word he reminds us, the last day is coming. The glories of heaven are coming. These things are coming. Rejoice, brothers and sisters, on this ascension day. Rejoice that the work of salvation is complete. 
Rejoice that our Savior is at the right hand of God, filling all things and ruling all things, and rejoice that in love he has given us the Holy Spirit. He has unleashed the third person of the Trinity to lead us in all truth, to convince our hearts that Jesus is the Savior. Look at Ascension Day from that angle, and this is just a lavish a lavish expenditure of gifts from our God. Just grace after grace after grace of what he gives us. Brothers and sisters, happy Ascension Day. Amen.